are going to unbox and test out the Tac Life 12 volt mini reciprocating saw. Now, this is a uh, single handed one. Uh, I have one for DeWalt. We did a test on that uh, already in a previous video. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. And of course, the first thing you get is uh, instructions and a warranty card. And you get a battery, which this is a 1.5 amp hour battery. So yeah, the battery is different than the other batteries that I have that are from TechLife that are 12 volt. So this might actually be a completely different battery system than what's on the drills. Which that's actually disappointing a little bit because this battery looks completely different. I don't even need to do a side by side comparison. It's a completely different battery. Which, yes. Based on the chargers, yes, this is a completely different battery. So, here, here's the charger. Of course, we get an attachment. I think this is to stop yourself from going any further after you cut the cut your twig for safety measure uh, for safety measures. But yeah, that's that's all right. I will not be using that. <laughs> Don't need to. And then, of course, the tool is. The tool is last. Now this thing actually looks pretty cool. You know, let's do a let's do a side by side comparison to the the Dewalt Atomic line. So the Tac Life is a tad bit smaller than the uh, than the Dewalt, but we will see the difference in power. Now this is a 18 a 20 volt system. This one's a 12 volt system. So it's it's a good have. This is only forty seven dollars. And free shipping because you're a part of I'm a part of Amazon Prime, so forty-seven dollars isn't bad, and I got it within a couple of days. So I'm not sure what the battery status is. Oh, let's push that. Uh, that is the battery status. The battery is full, surprisingly. So that while you, uh, there is a safety, you have to hit either one of the sides to activate it. So there you go. That is the tool. This is the blade that it comes with. Easy mechanism to lock it and unlock it just like the everything else. Let's put the battery in. Not too shabby. So, we're going to put this to the test and see how fast it takes to cut some wood. So, already, straight out of the box, the battery is full. Battery is full. With, I have some holes right here that I want to get rid of out of this thing. So, we are going to try to cut this 2x4 and see what happens. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. All right, so that's a rough cut blade. Actually, I want to put a finer blade on there. Let's see what happens. So yeah, so this is fully uh, full power now. It's actually a lot more powerful, but we will see. We will see. Ready, go. Alrighty, so that was battery is full still. All right, so this was this was a little disappointment, but I can tell that it's not the mechanics inside. This is just a low on power. Now, what they should do is they should make a 20 volt version of this, and it, it would be a lot more powerful. This battery does not give out enough power to, to do this job. Now, it does it does do it. Technically, it works. But uh, this this just isn't it's the power just isn't there. We're gonna do one more. Ready? 
Go. Now, I am not going to say this, this is not a garbage tool. It's not. It does the task, but we're going to put it through a little bit more stress. Let's see how it does with a 4x4. That's on tight. Does that make it across? Yes, it does. All right, so let's see what this does. Ready? Go. So, what we're, we're going to do now is we're going to switch out blades. Blade is hot. We're, we are going to try out the Milwaukee Carbide Blade. Alright, so Carbide Blade, let's see what it does. Three, no, ready, go. I think this blade is actually making it worse. All right, we're gonna try one more blade. We're gonna try the 12 inch pruning blade. All right, ready, go. Let's read the temperature of this really quick. 69 degrees. Sorry, uh, 74. 74 degrees. You know, for for a product, the be, being this small, doing something that it's not designed to do, it did pretty well. But this is majorly lacking power. If this was in their 20 volt system, this would be a lot more powerful. But yeah, but it is cool to have like a little another 12 volt uh, single handed reciprocating saw. But yeah. And as you can see, it's still, you know, it still has it still has some some juice in it, even for this to do that. No, now I mean I'm amazed. I'm not see when it comes to this, I'm amazed it even cut this. Period. This is worthy, but if they, they need to make this in their 20 volt system. So, uh, you know, Ryobi used to be the, the little guy. You know, like their tools were garbage back in the day, you know, in my opinion. But then they created this green brushless system and they majorly skyrocketed on their, on their uh, quality of tools. You know, Tech Life's in that same situation. Tech Life needs to evolve their tools and make them more powerful so this has great potential this company has great potential like if they're starting off like with tools like this that it's not bad at all gray and black and orange and black are their main colors 
But yeah, it did it. I mean, it, I, I'm, I'm surprised it even did this. So this has been the unboxing and demonstration of this tool, and I'm seriously amazed that it, that it did it. Is this Could this be more powerful? 100%. 100%. This needs a lot more power from the battery. And so, like, uh, Tech Life uh, like, uh, only makes a 1.5 for this tool. And so because of that, this tool is not powerful. This, they, they need to turn this into their 20-volt system. But that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.